Wade putting a smile on his face, but clearly there, there's some disconnect between him and Bulls management. Heard similar type of conversations before and after Jimmy Butler was dealt. This is interesting. Ultimately, we wonder if he's going to wind up on the Cavs, but first, what's going to happen with him in Chicago, a team that's clearly rebuilding? Yeah, it's, it's a head scratcher because you would think of a guy like D Wade, future Hall of Famer, you sign with the franchise, you think you have open conversation. Is Jimmy going to stay? Rondo has the kind of playoff two games he has before he breaks the thumb. You keep those three guys around. The young guys are getting better. So if you're a Bulls fan, you're like, well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm starting to believe in what you sold us last year. And it did pretty good. And D. Wade kind of bought in. And yes, they had some bumps in the road throughout the season with Rondo and stuff like that. But it seemed like when the playoffs got here, they worked it out a little bit to make it seem like it could work. And then trade and not resign and release. And then and now a future Hall of Fame, you're going to treat him this way and not have open dialogue? Well, Cavs fans probably like seeing this, thinking that they're a little closer to landing him if indeed D. Wade becomes a free agent and opts to go to Cleveland on a minimum deal. Some think maybe Miami's still out there. If he clears waivers, there's no, there's no brainer. He's going to, to, yeah, to right. the Cavs. Well, maybe that Come on. Hey, out. hey, LeBron, let's do this again, LeBron. <laughs> let's do this again.